Hello everyone and welcome! Today I'm going to be talking about the sequel to Hyperion, The Fall of Hyperion. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I mean, like, the first like I've ever, ever remember hearing about, about this would be with, you know, the, <clears throat> with the, uh, the, um, anime Haruhi Suzumiya. <clears throat> I mean, like, it, for one thing, it actually, uh, it's actually referenced, like, multiple times, like, Yuki Nagato herself is reading it, but also, like, it, it can't help but feel like multiple similarities, you know? Such as, say, the ultimate intelligence kind of reminds me of the, uh, data, data integration entity that, uh, Yuki reports to. You know, there's, like, all sorts of stuff involving time travel. <clears throat> And going back and forth through the through history, you know, kind of like in Haruhi, that where you know Keon is you know traveling backwards through time on occasion, and <clears throat> and even like uh, the whole uh, multiple pilgrims going off and seeing the Shrike, who is the god, you know, sort of like uh, you know, or it kind of reminds me of like all the different colorful characters in Haruhi remind you know observing Haruhi, or keeping her happy, or whatever, you know, gra granted these are just, you know, little similarities or whatever that I've personally sort of felt like I'm noticing, but, yeah, and, <clears throat> heck, even the, uh, the book Hyperion itself is actually comes up as a, uh, as a sort of plot point wherein the, uh, or in the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, Kion, you know, comes across the book and is like, Hey, I remember that! Yuki reads that. And, you know, he picks that out and finds a little bookmark with the whatever thing printed on it, and, you know, that's sort of the key to, <clears throat> you know, get some on his track on getting back to his own home dimension or whatever. <clears throat> but, yeah. yeah. But anyway, um... Although, I, I, I don't think the Har Haruhi would be the Shrike. She, she would be, I guess, the human spirit god, perhaps? You know, with the... <clears throat> and I guess the closest thing to the Shrike on Haruhi, on the Haruhi anime would be the uh, things that she summons up in her negative space when she's uh, depressed or angry or whatever. <clears throat> uh, but, anyway, um, <clears throat> back to the... Uh, this thing here. Uh, if you didn't see the Hyperion, or if you, I mean, if you didn't read it, I'll just give a brief recap. Um, <clears throat> it's mainly about these six individuals, you know, there's a poet, a, a scholar, a soldier, a priest, a, a consul, a, I think a, a diplomat, and whatever, and as well as the uh, scholars, like, baby who's aging backwards for reasons that are told later on <clears throat> are uh, you know going to the planet Hyperion to uh, visit the Shrike you know and during this they will try and and um, <clears throat> for like e each one is going there for their own reasons which are told in the six various stories which range from pretty funny to downright heartbreakingly tragic and sad and depressing. And, um... <clears throat> and in addition to this, we also get some, uh, you know, sights into the uh, background of what's going on. Where and where... <clears throat> you know, stuff like the heightening tensions between the humans and the... Between the Terran hegemony, hegemony and the ousters in the ouster swarms, you know, uh, dealing with the uh, AI cores and cybrids and stuff, as well as, of course, other stuff like uh, dealing with the <clears throat> people traveling through time. And as we see, if I recall correctly, um, I said that if the fall of Hyperion was even half as good in Hyperion, then I would say that it's still going to be fantastic. And, you know, what? I still think, yeah, it is a very fantastic book to read, you know, you know, expanding on everything and eventually even escalating everything to just being, you know, some heightening tensions between two, two countries to basically going all the way up to, like, 
battles between two gods, you know. <clears throat> As I mentioned with the uh, ultimate intelligence being like the god of a literal deus ex machina, an actual god of the machines, <clears throat> to the god of uh, men, and to the god of humanity, you know. <clears throat> and this whole thing is going, this whole massive conflict across time and space and just how big it is and just wow <clears throat> and um, yeah overall um, naturally of course is that um, like the one little shortfall of this is that you have to read Hyperion because you know the entire point of this is that it is the conclusion to Hyperion, you know, you have, so of course you have to read this first, you have to read Hyperion first, <clears throat> you know, and, um, yeah, <clears throat> but even so, um, assuming you've read Hyperion, then it is a very fantastic, you know, put together thing, you know, um, I think it's, you know, it's just, you know, just definitely wreck. Uh, there are another two books that are a part of this series. There's um, Endymion and Rise of Endymion, and <clears throat> I've yet to read those, but considering that they take place from assuming Wikipedia is to be believed, like several decades after this, I'm going to go on a, on a limb and say that you probably would not need to have read you know, the Hyperion or this in order to, you know, get it, but I'm assuming it would probably help, perhaps, you know, but back to this. Overall, I'm going to give, you know, I'm just going to talk about Hyperion and Fall of Hyperion together and give them a my personal comfort level recommendation rating of a 5 out of 5 definite recommendation you know it's just a fantastic couple of books you know starts off you know very small and uh, you know personal and eventually growing into masses of just full-on epicness and it's just a fantastic read I know that you're there you're definitely going to love it you know if you find a copy read it check it out yeah and um, anyway um, next time I'm going to be taking a look at the sci-fi Western written by of all people Bruce Boxleitner really yeah he wrote a book two uh, well actually I'm only talking about one but yeah <clears throat> Anyway, until then, see you later. Keep yourselves awesome by going out and supporting your local bookstores or libraries with your patronage, donations, whatever. And if you have any suggestions for that you think I would enjoy or for other viewers would enjoy, please leave so in the comment section below. And have a nice day.